hello guys welcome to another mobile repairing video so what do we have here we have some points right here in which you see all day on mobile pcbs so today we will be talking about this point i will want you to understand each and every point right here so that you can start using them right away and after understanding everything that i'm about to tell you right now you won't be texting me again or any other person asking them how you can jump at this or how you can jump at that so just do yourself a favor to watch this video till the end because each part in this video is very important and if you skip this video i'm telling you right now that you are not going to learn anything because each part in this video you're gonna learn something very huge so just smash that like button smash it again smash it again before we continue right here so here we go okay so there is no doubt that you have been seeing all these points on mobile pcbs so i will explain each point to you then tell you its function and tell you how you can use them during repairing for easy solving problems on any mobile pcb so you see we have so many points right here you see we have rtx we have tx we have vbus dm dp vchg vpad bad on ntc bad id and we have b10 so i'm going to group all these into three groups so that explaining them will be very clear to you you understand explaining them by grouping them into their best groups you will easily understand them okay so let's start with rtx and tx the technical use of this is to transmit and receive okay so what can you do with these points on mobile and what are they used for I want you to understand that from my own studies, I believe there are two different types of RTX and TX on mobile. Okay, so the first one is the transmission and receiving of program data in the CPU from the programmer. Then the second one is the transmission of radio frequency during networking, like when you are making calls. Okay. But the one that we are talking about right here is the one with the CPU, is the RTX and the TX of the CPU. So you see the points right here. How can you make use, good use of these points? You can use these points to flash or unlock a mobile phone. Okay, let me tell you the most usable thing on this RTX and TX. The most usable point right here is the TX. You can use this TX to get into boot mode, to get into flash mode on any mobile. Which means that when you are flashing your phone, you just have to connect a wire to the TX, then connect it to ground. You are just going to contact the TX and ground, then connect your USB to connect your phone to flash mode in case the volume buttons are not picking the phone and not making the pc to pick the phone on flash mode then you will use the tx to switch to connect to bridge earth and tx so that the phone can easily pick on the flash store so you can use rtx and the tx to write data into the cpu you can use them to flash the cpu most people who are commonly using the RTX and the TX are those who are having unlocking box, programming box. They can connect into the CPU using the RTX and the TX directly into the CPU to read the password to unlock the phone than to do anything easily. So that is the first one. So the second group in which we will be talking on right here, we are going to combine VBUS, DM, DP, and VCH. So I'm combining these four to you so that you can easily understand when I'm explaining each of them because all of them belongs to one section on a mobile PCB. So what you need to understand about this section is that the physical USB interface is made up of two shield wires which we have the VBUS 
which is the main supply, which is the main 5 volt supply into the phone. So when I talk about USB interface, I mean you are charging plug. I mean you are charging plug. So we have the V burst, which means the main input, which is the main 5 volt input. So we have the negative data terminal, which is dot as DM, which is the DM is the negative data terminal from your charging pin. Then we have DP, which is dot as DP, which is the positive data terminal. You understand? Then what we have VCHG, that is still V bus. V VCHG is same as V bus, so you don't need to get confused. DP means data positive of your charging terminals, then DM means data negative terminal of your charging terminal. So you can easily use these tapes to do, you can easily use these dots to do jumper on your mobile phone. If you are trying to change your charging system, then the pins peeled off the motherboard, then you can jumper from these points. You can jumper the 5 volt of your charging terminal from VBUS jumper the positive from DP jumper the negative data transfer from DM. So here we go. That's the second step and here we go to the third step which is the last step and the most important one. So in the third group we will combine VPAT, BAT on, NTC, BAT ID and BTEMT because they belong to one section on a mobile PCB. So in this group we are going to start with VPAT. What you need to understand is that VPAT means voltage battery which is the main jumper point for the battery positive pin. So if you are trying to change the terminal of your phone, the battery terminal of your phone, then the battery positive pin peel off the motherboard. Then you can jump at that pin from any point that you see that is written V part on the motherboard. So now we have B temped. So what does this stand for? This stands for battery temperature. It gives information to the processor regarding the battery temperature, which means that if this B10 line is broken, the CPU won't be able to read the battery temperature and might start displaying some kind of funny messages on your screen like battery temperature too low or too high. I think you always see this in most phones and you have been trying to solve this problem. So this problem is mostly caused by the battery or the BTEM line. So all this information the CPU is getting is from a thermistor on the battery circuit. So in case your, your battery pins get damaged or your terminals get damaged, you can jump out from the thermistor inside the battery circuit then jump at it to the B10 point on the mobile PCB. And if you don't know how to find the temperature, then it's store on your battery circuit, just subscribe so that when I upload that video, you will see what I'm talking about. I'm going to upload it soon. So now what we are talking on is BSI, which is one of the most important pins too, between a battery and the CPU, then the temperature errors. The BSI pin you see on a mobile PCB is internally connected to a temperature sensor to prevent the battery and the phone in case the battery overheats. So this temperature sensor is still a thermistor around the CPU, it's not on the battery like the B10. So this temperature sensor prevents you from using your phone when it's hot. So I think you have seen cases like your phone telling you that the phone is too hot, you will need to keep it for some time so that it will cool before you use it. Like on iPhones, you always see like uh, temperature too high, you will need to leave the phone for some time so that when it decreases, you will be able to use your phone again. This is the help of BSI, you understand? And there is always a BSI line on the battery that you can jump on. So now we have the BAT ID. So this pin helps the phone identify batteries. It helps the phone identify that this is my battery. I will be able to work with this battery on me. 
so you understand that is why when you use sometimes a wrong battery on a phone maybe the phone might start restarting because when phones are programmed they are programmed with the acceptable voltage from the batteries from the original batteries I say okay so what we have here is the bat on which is one of the big deals that we have right here you need to understand that in most cases when you see bad on on any point on a mobile PCB and you check on well you won't see anything like BSI B10 or battery ID which is because bad on in most phones is the combination of those signals that is why in most phones when you see bad on you will only see V part bad on then GND because all those temperature signals are being merged to the bad on so in case you have a phone that the battery terminals is broken you you jump at the V part then jump at the JND which I think you know already that is the ground then you have the bat on in which you don't know how you are gonna jump at it you are just going to get into the battery then find the line you are going to follow the line through the battery nap which is the flex then find the the, the bat on line then jump at it from its thermistor it's always a thermistor then to the bat on pin on your mobile okay so guys make sure you comment right down there if you have any question and like this video subscribe click on the notification bell for more amazing videos i love you all